Hey guys, just wanted to show you how bad bad this tank looks right now. There's freaking dirt everywhere in here. Dirt there. Dirt there. Dirt there, dirt everywhere. And that's after I cleaned it. In order to um, keep the duckweed from blowing around too much like it is now, um, I get in the position where there's no glare. I turned off this uh, hang on back filter. I'm thinking of taking the fluval that I had on the t on the other tank um, and putting it in here, um, just because um, you know hang on back filter isn't. Doesn't work very well if you have duckweed. It's always it's constantly pushing it down and making a mess of stuff. Uh, the duckweed's working out well though. Um, it's got my nutrients and a um, levels at a desirable level. Um, before I had like trace trace amounts of ammonia in here but now it's um, like totally gone so that's good I've been dosing the the glutaraldehyde on a um, consistent basis and that's been doing well I actually I actually did a little too much my crypt started melting so I I was doing like the equivalent of three caps of Excel in this uh, 29 gallon, uh, so that was a little too much. I cut it back to around two caps per day. And it's hard to believe, but that's better than it was looking uh, before I started dosing the uh, glutaraldehyde. And you can see I got some green spot there. I gotta clean that up. Oh, and a uh, shout out to uh, NJW1383. He recently did a uh, video about green spot algae and how to get rid of it. By um, one of the methods was dosing phosphates, which is kind of cool. Uh, I know you typically typically don't um, dose fertilizers in a dirted tank, but it's it'd be interesting to hear if anybody's ever tried it out. So um, if you tried it. Um, Dosing um, potassium phosphate or whatever whatever it's called um, to a dirt tank. Um, uh, leave a comment below. Um, I'd be interested to hear about them, how it worked out for you. Yeah, I really need to change this filter. That's all for now. Um, I should be uploading a video on my other tank um, sometime shortly after this one. So uh, see you guys later.